Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and I'm currently a student on holiday. Have you ever wondered why we have to walk our dogs constantly and have to play with them frequently as well? Today, we are here to find that out through a little experiment in which I will do nothing for one hour. Let's get started. So, I realized that watching me do nothing is really boring. So I'll spend the next minute or so of this time lapse explaining more behind the rationale of this experiment. As we all know, dogs are intelligent animals, with some estimates suggesting that the average dog's intelligence is as sophisticated as a two and a half years old baby. As such, it is no wonder that dogs can experience boredom and frustration when they have nothing to do for too long. This leads to an accumulation of stress which can lead to destructive behaviour such as chewing on furniture if not managed properly. I mean, if you have nothing to do for long enough, even chewing on a shoe seems entertaining, right? That's why we are here today to find it out. Also, one possible misconception would be that if I were to provide a dog with a toy, they will be automatically entertained. It is hence crucial to recognize that enrichment is valuable to the dog, only if the dog thinks it is of importance. Think about it. Some of us enjoy playing tennis, while some of us enjoy making YouTube videos on the other hand. If a dog's intelligence is pretty sophisticated, wouldn't they be kinda similar to us in the sense that they have their own set of preferences too? Dogs have different personalities and preferences, so it is important to ensure that what we are providing to them is worthy enough to serve as their source of entertainment. So, enough of me talking. Enjoy watching me suffer for the remaining few seconds. Torturous process. Wow. <gasps> That was me putting myself through self-inflicted torture for one hour. And through this process, I felt really bored and really restless. And I can definitely understand why dogs carry out destructive behaviour if you don't bring them up to play or to entertain them um, for too long. So how can we decrease boredom and frustration in dogs? We can A. Consistently bring them out for walks. B. Give them many interesting toys to play with. C. Spend some time training your dog. Even a short 10-minute uh, training session will do as well. And D. We can also play games like hide and seek with our dogs. As long as you carry out these activities you know, at specific time points throughout the day, the dog will definitely be kept entertained and they will not feel as frustrated and restless as a result. And this leads to a happier dog. If you have enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. Also, if you'd like to find out more about how my pre-vet journey was like, do check out this video over here. And if you are struggling with your studies and need some tips on how to improve on your grades, do check out this video as well. And yeah, see you all in future videos.